video for you guys if you're new to my channel welcome 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 thank you for joining marie bay gang slash family if you haven't joined we wait on bro we wait on sis hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell as well period so this story time is about the first time i've been with a stud okay so if you do not support LGBTQ community, I ask that you exit this video. If you have problem and you judgmental and you are holy and sanctified and you never commit a sin a day in your life, get off my video. If you're not 18 years old and older, get off my video. Only adults and mature audience only. Period. And positive energy, positive vibes, no negativity, and let's continue, shall we? Okay, now that I kicked all the negativity, people, happy Pride Month! Rainbow! <laughs> that was so corny, y'all. That was so corny. But happy Pride Month. Drop a rainbow in the heart for all my Pride Month people. For my LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ community, drop a rainbow in the heart in the comment section. And say, happy Pride Month, Maria Bay. I am bisexual. A proud bisexual. Beautiful bisexual woman. And I'm proud. So, this is the time I've been with a son. I was 22 years old. She was like, 18, 19, let me tell y'all this. So, I was open already. I was open to my parents when I first found out. She wasn't. So, we both come from religious families, and my family kept telling me I was going to hell. But I look at it as God is love. Excuse me, y'all. I look at it as, well, God is love. He told us to love everyone. But her family... Where Baptist, Baptist is different, and they was more strict. So she wasn't open fully. So we met on a dating website called Tag. If you don't know what Tag is, Google it. So we met on this dating website called Tag. I was nervous. I ain't gonna say a lie because I've been trying to talk to females on Tag, but they give me. A beat around the bush type of situation. So, I was hoping. I was like, oh, well, maybe I could talk to her. She seemed bold and open. So, come to find out she came from an adopted family. And that was a family that was religious. Um, She's adopted. And I was like, oh, you know, sorry to hear that. You know, blah, blah, blah. So, we met at Walmart because I told her I want to see her. I want to meet her. I was tired of doing this back and phone situation. I was tired of going back and forth on the phone. Let's do a meet and greet. So, we meet and greet at Walmart because I had to pick up my son some pampers. So, she came in from church or whatever. She said she got, you know, she was coming from church. So, she'll be there soon because she was driving. And, um, I met her. She looked it good. I was like, oh. But she wasn't dressed as a stud. She didn't came out of stud around this time. Like, she was curious. So, she was all over the place with her sexuality. You know, one minute you're bisexual. One minute you're bi-curious. One minute you want to be a girl, all girly. The next minute you want to be a stud. So, y'all, make a long story short, I couldn't rock with her around that time. Okay, so fast forward, we rekindle on Instagram. My this she DM me because she found out my husband had passed away, and I'm 25, she's like 22, 23 now. 
And, you know, she was talking about, you know, linking up, having a little smoke session. And I was like, sure. You know, I was out of work for a couple of days anyway due to my husband, you know, dying or whatever. So, I was out of work for a couple of days. You know, I was going back later on, but you know what I mean, long story short. Um, she pulled up at my people's house because I had to move back for a little while due to the incident with my husband. And, um, she pulled up and went back to her place. So now she's open. Now she's a full stud. She's a full stud. So she chose to be a stud. And she had an annoying ass roommate. Like, her roommate was so fucking annoying, y'all. She was vanilla. Okay, she was a vanilla swirl type of girl. Okay. But she was vanilla. I'm just gonna say it like that. Um so and she was nosy. So we got to the place and she was like she was introducing us and her roommate was like, Oh my god, you're so pretty. And I was like, Oh my god, I'm like thank you, you know. So, I told her I had to be back home at a specific time due to my son and daughter. And she was like, okay, cool. So, she was trying to make me smile just like everybody else. Like, when you're going through a, a grieving point of your life, people try to come in and try to make you feel good. So, I spent the night that night and... We up here, you know, pup, pup, ass, you feel me? And we chilling in her room. So, she started kissing on me. I started kissing on her. She was like, I'm about to kick out my roommate. Because her roommate was chilling with us. And she was like, yo, I'm about to kick out my roommate. So, me and you can have some, you know, us time. And I was like, about time? Like, this girl is caught blocking, like. Sis, can you move? <laughs> like, she was in between us. eat Like, we puffing, passing, or whatever. And she up here texting me, flirt with me through a text. And um, every time her roommate get up, because we was like, hey, can you go get us some drinks or whatever? So, every time her roommate got up, like, we kissed, we hugged. And when she came in the room or come down the hall, we had to separate. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I was like, hmm, do you and your roommate got something going on? But anyway, I was just trying to jump to the conclusions because I don't know. So, her roommate left. And we eventually did some things. Some. <laughs> throw that circle. Ooh, throw that. In a circle. Woo! Throw that ass in a circle. Woo! So, <laughs> I threw it in a circle for her. And it was different. You know, in this day and time with the toys being all, feeling all real and stuff, it felt like I was actually on a do, you know, riding and doing adult activities on a do. So, I was like, that was amazing. So we cuddled after we was intimate and I was all up on her, kissing on her. And I was like, yo, I can really see myself with a stud. I can see myself with a stud. <laughs> I ain't about to go back to the man. I'm about to do straight stud. Boy, was I wrong. So <laughs> the alarm went off. We didn't hear it, but the roommate did. So she banging on the door. We like, what in the world was that? She banging on the door. Hey, she got to go home. She got to go home. The alarm went off for her to go home. So I'm looking at her like, yo, get your roommate. Like, what? What the world? So me and her just, you know, she was like, okay, I'm about to take her home now. So, she took me home, and I was like, 
you sure you and your roommate ain't got nothing going on? Nah, that's the homie. That's the homie. Well, the homie's too protective. You feel me? Like, why is your homie too protective? So, she calling me. She texting me. She want to, you know, chill more. And I was like, cool, facts. We got a hotel room. So, well, she got a hotel room. Let me say it like that. So, she got a hotel room. And supposedly, your roommate is straight. Okay. So, I was like, oh, you got a hotel room? I was like, no more roommate? She was like, yeah, my roommate is coming. To the hotel with us, too? Yeah. I was like, what, y'all sharing a room? No. <laughs> they shared a room, y'all. So I was like, oh my God, here we go. And when I went in the room, I'm thinking it was going to be like a double room. Like one bed and she had the other bed. No, it was one bed. Like how my king size bed look in the background. That how big the bed was at the hotel. So I'm like, I thought you said y'all was like, she had her own room and this is your room. Yeah. So why she in your room? Oh, we just sharing it for the time being. She was waiting for one of her little boo things to come and pay for a room for them. I was like, okay. So the dude was coming, but later on that night. So dude eventually came or whatnot. He didn't pay for the room. You know, they smashed in the parking lot of the hotel. And me and her was in the room, cuddled, booed up, or whatever. So, she got in the bed, and I didn't know after we did our adult activity situation in the shower. You know, as soon as her roommate left to go downstairs with a boy, we just did some things in the shower. We did some things in on the table. We did some things on the floor. We did some things on the bed. You know, we was all over the room. So, I am sleeping comfortably. Like, I was just sleeping and I'm feeling on her chest I kid you not her friend hand her homie her roommate hand was on the on her chest I'm like I'm looking she on the other side of her all cut her up so I'm like did I just got played by a stud me me I said, oh, hey. oh, no. I said, no, 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 no. I said, God, why me? I was like, every time. Like, what the freak? So, I just went off. Like, AK-47. I said, yo, take me home. I don't have time for this. Y'all some little kid mess. I'm a grown woman. I'm 25. Y'all young. You know? I know how it is, but if you want to be with her, you can be with her. Oh, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. Girl, get out. Becky, you up here by curious, and you probably mess with Becky. And that's why Becky's so overprotective of you. Every time, like, when when she, t like, when me and her was in the car, she got to go pick up this girl. She got to pick up her roommate. She got to do this with her roommate. Every time I call her, she's with her roommate. So, it's like... Either you want me or you want Becky. Which which one? Do you want Becky with the good hair or do you want this chocolate foxy woman? Like, what do you want? So, I told her, you know what? She ain't got to choose. I'm just done. I'm done. So, I just stopped talking to her. I mean, she tried to talk to me every now and then, but, like, you up here coming after me and talking about, oh, bi-curious women or bisexual women do not know what they want. I'm a bisexual woman and I know what I want. If I'm feeling you, whether it's a guy or a girl, if I'm feeling you, then why not? You know? But if you want to be on some back and forth, you don't know what you want type mess, then why should I? You feel me? Like, some studs know what they want and some studs don't. 
some studs trying to be like dudes and try to play you. So any of y'all who's back curious on wanting to date a stud, just remember, studs have a mindset of a man. Some of them, not all of them. But some, so that's how they're going to act, just like a guy. So they feel like they can play us just like a guy. I mean, if I want all that headache, I could just be with a guy. You know, like, it was a hot mess. But before dating a stud, make sure that stud know what they want. And make sure you know what you want. If they on some mess like that, y'all, just say deuces. Like, we don't have time for that in 2021. Boo-boo, baby. And I would say if you if you are a bisexual woman, be open. Be open about your bisexuality. Like, who cares if you want to date a... Uh, you're not confused. Make sure you know what you want. Because whoever, like me, I'm a bisexual woman, but if I vibe with you, I'm vibing with you and you only. I'm not vibing with you, then go hook up with a dude. You feel what I'm saying? But if me and you in this together, we in this together, boo boo. Period. I'm riding. Are you riding? Let me know what we doing. But anyway, Drop your stories in the comment. Let me know, have you ever dated a stud? What was your experience like dating a stud? And if you did, did it went well? Is it still going good? Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about dating studs? I don't have a problem with studs. Not all studs are the same. Just like every dude is not the same. Or every female is not the same. But I prefer dating a stud. I mean, I'm a dominant female. When it comes to females, I be dominant. But... When it comes to males, you know, I'd be submissive. Ooh, daddy, what you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, I could be like that with a stud. Like, mm, baby, what you want me to do? Okay, you want me to... Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing with y'all. But like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see y'all in the next one. Kelly. He wanna pop out, yeah. I wanna rock out, call when I'm in town. Oh. Fuck do you mean? I